Hey guys, Daniel here of Pinay Techno Guide, and this is the Vivo V25 smartphone. It features a 64 megapixel triple rear camera system at the back, a 50 megapixel selfie camera, which makes it a night portrait master according to Vivo. I tested that claim by taking several portrait shots, examining its design, and measuring its performance. This is my full review of the Vivo V25 smartphone. Let's start with its design. The Vivo V25 has what's called a photochromic design. It's a color-changing back panel that looks gold indoors and bright orange outdoors when exposed to sunlight. This exciting design makes it stand out among other smartphones with tamer color schemes. It also has a glittery and matte texture that prevents smudges and fingerprints. The back and sides are both flat with smooth edges and a slight 2.5D curve on the front glass panel. Its volume and power buttons are on the right side. The loudspeaker, USB Type-C port, microphone, and SIM card tray are all at the bottom. It can accommodate either two nano SIM cards or one nano SIM card and one microSD memory card for additional storage. There is also another microphone at the top of the device. It's a slim and light smartphone measuring 7.79 mm in thickness and weighing 186 grams only. The package also comes with a free transparent phone case that protects the phone while keeping the beautiful design visible. On the front of the smartphone is its 6.44 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display. It has narrow side and top bezels with a small chin and a tiny notch at the top. While I would have loved a punch hole cutout, the notch becomes inconspicuous after some time. The screen itself has sufficient brightness and color vibrancy. It also supports up to 90Hz screen refresh rate which makes animations and transitions look and feel smoother. Here's how it looks like while watching a YouTube video and Netflix series. It supports HDR10 plus video technology so videos with the HDR label look brighter and more vibrant. Watching movies would have been more immersive if it had stereo loudspeakers. There's a free set of earphones in the package which sounds decent and useful for calls with its built-in microphone. The Vivo V25 is equipped with a triple rear camera system composed of a 64 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, and 2 megapixel macro camera. It can take great looking pictures both during the day and at night. Its auto HDR function improves shadows which makes the pictures look brighter. It's also packed with many photography features including portrait mode, night mode, vlog mode with templates, slow motion, dual view video, and more. Here's a sample portrait from the Vivo V25. It looks good outdoors during the day but needs several trial shots indoors and at night for a sharper focus. Here are some more sample pictures. It can also capture up to 4K resolution videos that looks good. You'll need to drop the resolution to full HD for a more stable video though. It's also equipped with a 50 megapixel selfie camera that produces great looking selfies. There is portrait mode and vlog mode for the front camera, and here are some sample selfies. It's also capable of recording 4K videos, so your TikToks and vlogs can look more detailed. The Vivo V25 is powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 900 chipset with an octa-core CPU, 8GB of RAM, and up to 8GB of additional virtual RAM. It's generally smooth in basic tasks like browsing social media, opening apps, and switching between different apps. It scored 694 points on Geekbench 5 single core, 2008 points on Geekbench 5 multi-core, and 2.91 seconds on the RealPi benchmark. You can test your current device with these benchmark apps to compare the performance of the Vivo V25. Now in terms of gaming performance, the Vivo V25 can run uh, Mobile Legends at high graphics quality smoothly in 60 fps with a few frame drops during clashes.
It can also run Call of Duty Mobile in Battle Royale mode at high graphics quality up to 40 FPS. For a smoother 60 FPS game experience, the graphics quality needs to be set to low. For Genshin Impact, the graphics quality is set to low by default and the average frame rate is 29 FPS only. It's a dual SIM smartphone with 5G connectivity, hence it can provide ultra-fast mobile internet speeds in areas with 5G coverage. In areas with no 5G signals, it can support 4G plus network, so mobile internet speeds remain fast. There's a USB Type-C port for charging, data transfer, and audio output. The free earphones included in the box comes with an adapter for the 3.5mm audio jack. It also has NFC, Bluetooth version 5.2, and dual band Wi-Fi. A 4500mAh battery powers the Vivo V25. It can last more than a day on a single charge with my normal use. When playing games like Mobile Legends continuously, it can last up to 6 hours and a half. Recharging the device to 100% battery capacity takes less than 1 hour thanks to its 44 watts of fast charging technology. The fast charger is also already included in the box unlike some other smartphones. So in conclusion, the Vivo V25 is an outstanding mid-range smartphone in terms of photography. It also has a high quality screen, good gaming performance, interesting design, fast charging, and stable connectivity. Its cameras can use a software update to ensure a sharp focus all the time in low light, but that should be an easy task for Vivo. What are your thoughts about the Vivo V25? Share them in the comments and let's have a discussion. Don't forget to like this video if you think it's helpful for you. And see you guys in the next video.